Another retro rewind. Welcome back to I Just Watched. I'm Joseph. Today we're talking Mimic. Another reason I picked this movie, same reason I picked Urban Legend. If you haven't seen that already, I'll drop a link. Obviously one, qualified, five years or older. But more so, it was another horror movie that I had never seen in my life. And I do love creature features. I love them. I think they're fun. Horror in general is fun. It's one of my favorite genres. So let me get that out the way. But because I had never seen it, I can come into it without being completely biased, regardless whether I love it or hate it and try to mix it up a little bit, you know? First off, the thing that I found funny as hell was the two characters that I recognize the most or the two actors that I recognize the most. It's like Charles Dutton, he's a cop in here, and then Josh Brolin, who's also a cop, where is he, forensics? I can't remember, but they were like two side characters, even though Dutton's character kind of became a main character towards the end. It was just funny, because I was like, Oh snap, like this is, I recognize them, crazy. And then Reedus, Reed, Reed, Reedus, oh, Shenanigan, what was his name? Walking Dead, um, Boondock Saints. I liked it. I thought it was a good movie. I, like parts of it I really enjoyed, parts of it I wanted to like almost love, and then parts of it I was like, that's just stupid, bro. It is 90s horror, it's a creature feature, so it kind of makes sense to feel this way. I think it's actually really good. A lot of it still holds up for me. I do like the use of practical effects. There is some CG in it. It's bad now, but it also, it's been years. So how did it age? in that sense. I think it aged well, because even though there is some poor CG moments, overall I do like the idea, the concept. Uh, the characters were cool. I didn't really care for the main characters, which is funny. I ended up caring more for like Dutton's character, the cop, even though he was a bit of an asshole, but that was kind of his whole shtick. I also liked, oh, what was his name? Was it Manny? He was like the dad who like cleaned shoes and he was looking for his son. I liked his character. So I was really, really sad when he died. I was like, damn, and he died trying to save his son and his son was just like, friends. Friends, I was like, bro, just pick his ass up and bounce, my boy. Like, don't just stand there and you're not gonna warn your father. He's friends, you're not gonna tell him there's a giant ass monster behind him that's ready to take him out. I don't know how to tell you this. That's not your kid, bro. Like, leave him there. That's between him and God now. I don't know what to say. Get out of there. I did like the movie, which was surprising because the very beginning, oh, the beginning I did not like. First, like 15, 20 minutes when they're introducing the Judas into society so to speak so it can take out the roaches and reduce the disease and stuff confused a little bit because i was like what the hell's going on it didn't make a lot of sense and then they just jump to years later it's like four years later i think that's when i started to kind of grow into it i like the fact that it also had like the kids trying to like sell her bugs or insects that they would find because she that's what she studied and like the little development there and how it like slowly progressed into the subway system the sewers the underground system where they were laying eggs and how they survived it's very much you know life finds a way they survived they were breeding they weren't supposed to they're supposed to die off and i really thought the concept of how they were kind of like hiding in plain sight was the little arm thingies that would make like a weird face I thought that was kind of neat. I would genuinely like to see this movie redone. Today's uh, practical effects and uh, CG, like I could, these creatures, these Judas bugs can be really cool. Plus I think if you could dive into it, you can kind of make it a bit more because the characters that were the weakest were the main characters in my opinion. And they need to be able to carry the movie. I love the creatures. The story was okay. Overall, I enjoyed it. I definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it. I've never seen the sequel. I think there's three if I remember correctly. So I've never seen two or three, but I would actually recommend Mimic. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun movie. It wasn't super scary, but nowadays not a lot really is, but I enjoyed it. I definitely recommend it. However, I want to hear your thoughts. Have you ever seen Mimic? What's your favorite creature feature? I'd love to hear that. Definitely let's start that conversation. Again, any future retro rewinds you'd love to hear, let me know down below. I definitely love chatting. But until next time, stay safe, be well. Con mucho amor. Adios.